Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and today I'm going to show you how to get some of the older games that you may have on your computer working on Windows 10. Now, this doesn't work all the time. I've tried it a couple times. It's got a bit of 60 to 70 percent chance of working, and it's actually very, 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 very simple. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here with Mech Commander. Now, Mech Commander I have on my computer. It now works with Windows 10. Um, it took me a while to figure out how. I was playing with settings and modifications and all sorts of shit, and I couldn't figure out how to get to work. So what I did was I went down here, went to Properties, right-clicked on the tab, or on the icon, went down to Properties, went over to comp Compatibility, and I hit Run Compatibility Troubleshooter. So it says detecting issues, resolving issues. So it runs the game, it verifies it, and now it analyzes it and says what will make this game run optimally. You then try recommended settings. Now my recording may get a little squirrely here, but we're gonna show you. So here we go. Before this, I was getting errors saying unable to launch or unable to um, or um, um, mx mcxe.exe failed to load or dot mcx or mcx.exe. Um, was forced to stop running or was of whatever. I was getting all different messages. So I ran this and then this is what we did. Watch this. So now it says Test compatibility with settings with this program. Settings apply to MCX. Windows compatibility mode Windows XP Service Pack 3. So it's going to change this for us automatically. So test program. Take a little second so you see a little thing pop up down here. We click on it. Do you want to run it? And obviously it's user control because I have administrative settings on. You may not have seen that. Now, this is where it gets all squirrely. Boom. Micropose. Hasbro Interactive. Now, if you click anything with your mouse, everything stays the same. Hit Escape. I kind of skipped everything, right? So now we're at the main screen. So technically you could play the game right now if you wanted to. But we're not. We're going to click quit. And now it's going to bring us to our main screen here. I'm just going to slide that over. There we go. So now it'll say, are we good to go? Next. Save. So you'll see this right now, right? Is set to Windows, etc, etc. And come out of the program fixed. We can close. Now you see how it's all like this. We go there, there. We go cancel properties compatibility notice even though it says windows now see how it says windows xp service pack 3 if this wasn't even checkmarked this will still say windows pack because before right it was checked off but it was saying windows 8 so there you go that is how you get your older games to work on windows 10 now it's not guaranteed as i said um it'll even pop up and say it can't do it um It'll pop up and say, this might work, test it, you click test, it doesn't work. Um, now and then, it detects if it fails or not, and pops up and with the with the thing saying, hey, that didn't work, you want to try something else. Um, you can also troubleshoot it by hitting the buttons there, and it links you to websites, and you can do searches on websites and stuff. But overall, yeah, it works pretty good. It works pretty good. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or whatever on uh, getting games to work, specifically games, working on Windows 10, uh, leave a comment, send me a private message. If not, please leave a like. Um, it helps you so very much. That way I know I'm doing a good job. Even dislikes, to be honest with you, help me knowing if, um, if I'm not doing a good job. Um, if you leave a dislike, though, please tell me why. Because um, if you're like, you know, you, you sound like a douchebag, then I'll try not to sound like a douchebag. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys next time on the battlefield. And in this case, in Windows 10. Bye-bye.